Hey guys! Today I'll show you 5 life hacks from plastic bottles. The first one seems to be the most common, so let's make a funnel. Cut the top of the bottle off and unscrew the lid. Our funnel is ready. You can use it at the kitchen for pouring water, sunflower oil or compote. And also at the garage for motor oil, benzene or diesel. We can also make simple spoons from the bottom part of the bottle. To make them, draw a line around one of the five legs of the bottle, as shown, and cut it out with a knife or scissors. And as a final touch, hit the borders with a lighter. By doing so, the handle becomes firmer. And even if you won't use it at the table, I think it will be a nice measuring spoon. For the third idea, we'll need a toothpick, a lighter and, of course, a plastic bottle. Firstly, we should unscrew and heat the lid of the plastic bottle. As soon as the plastic becomes soft enough, you should take a toothpick and start carefully piercing the lid from the inside. Do it very slowly, otherwise you're just going to pierce the lid through. As soon as the nose we've made cools down, you can remove the toothpick, cut the top and use it as a pastry bag nozzle. You can pour some liquid dough into the bottle for pancakes, it may also contain cream or sunflower oil. You may also use it at your garage to grease up some hard-to-reach places. As for the kids, they can pour glue into the bottle and use it for fun projects. You know, when you need to pour some paint from the bucket, and the small plastic cup is no help, as it has no handle. No problem, because now we are going to make a simple cup with a handle from a plastic bottle. Cut the bottle in two pieces, draw two lines around and leave a small partition between them, about 2 cm in wide. Then we cut it out carefully and pass it from the bottom. Our cup is ready. Unfortunately, I don't have a bucket of paint, so I'm going to show you a bag of sunflower seeds. In conclusion, let's see how to laminate a glass jar with the help of a plastic bottle. Cut the top and the bottom off, put the middle part onto the jar. Now put a photo, a logo or a card in between. Heat from the air gun or even a simple hair dryer shrinks the plastic and we get a personalized glass jar, cup or even a vase. So guys, if this video gets enough likes, I will show you 5 more awesome ideas from plastic bottles. Stay safe and see you in the next video.